All right, hi, and welcome to the first turn of the Let's Talk About War Games, War in the East 2 Road to Leningrad campaign. I'm Jack, and I'm going to be playing the Axis. Uh, something to warn you about in advance. Uh, I'm very new to War in the East 2, so if you like the backseat game in the comments, uh, feel free. You will probably be more correct than I am, but I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, so to start off, I'm going to be letting the air direct itself. And I'm also going to be letting the AI manage its own depots because, as I said, I am new at this. So here we go with first turn air attacks. And let these guys cycle through. Look at them go. Looks like down here we've had a lot of Axis sorties, so not very many Soviet sorties, killing a lot of their plants on the ground. <laughs> 642 on the ground. Uh, get it together, Joe. All right. So let's see what we've got here. Overall, didn't lose many aircraft. <laughs> if you were just looking at this, it would be a uh, Kind of a funny thing, like, oh yeah, he killed all of my planes with that one plane? No. Okay, so on to actual turn orders here. Let me take a look. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. Unfortunately, they are a very effective fighting unit. So I guess I'll have to use them at some point. Okay, so I'm going to start off by seeing if we can push up and just seize these railheads. It's kind of my goal is to just push along the rail lines and see if we can get up constant, uh, well, constant isn't the right word, consistent line up to um, Leningrad, which is all the way up here. It's a good thing this has, I think, 17 turns? Otherwise it would take forever. Um, well, I don't know if we would be able to get up there so far. Uh, okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blow these guys up. <laughs> I have never seen this before. Holy crap. Alright. <laughs> well, I guess this is a yeah, there's a lot of units there. Opening up a hole. Okay, cool. Yes. Flood into this hole that we are going to now exploit. Surrendered. I'm getting some prisoners already. That's pretty good. Um, but this is pretty early in Barbarossa. Soviets aren't ready yet. Uh, it sucks to be them, I guess. It's a very, ooh, a very scary line over there. I don't like that much. It's very thin. Let's see if we can uh, we selected this guy. Gonna see if we can flank around them, get some early pockets. Surrendered. Good lord. Uh. <laughs> cool. So it looks like we're just kind of tearing through these guys and could get an early pocket on these units over here. I'm surprised that I'm able to go in the woods and flank them this well. You know what's funny about this whole thing is that I'm also working on a review for Unity of Command to um, the Barbarossa expansion. And they, uh, this exact scenario is like the starting one. And so I'm working on going up and uh, through Estonia in that. And it's way tougher in that than in this because I think that it's a single scenario so they have to make it tougher. Um, but these, uh, these units right here are kind of chumps. Yeah, I'm just... They're just taking absurd amounts of casualties. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's move some of our forces up. So I was actually expecting this to not go nearly as well on the western part here. I might go up along the coast and then 
tag that way. Looks like there are some airfields over here also. I probably want to knock out a commission. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Move up some of these units back here. Who is this? A third of the 32nd infantry division. Yeah, get in there, boys. Surrendering. Getting a lot of units surrendering. Soviet morale is not very good right now. Which is good for me. Bad for society as a whole, I think, but you know. <laughs> That's good. I got in and stole this uh, railhead from them. I wonder if there is a... There might be. If there is, I wouldn't know about it. Um, wondering if there's a way to like destroy the railheads. So that way if they come and decide to cut me off, I can still hold on to it. I guess we'll see. No casualties. Look at that. Just melt it. Uh, who is this? Oh, well, that's my Luftwaffe unit. Security division. Yeah, move up there. A little bit forward. So, just you boys. I'd like you to move up. Okay. <laughs> I was worried the HQ was going to follow him. That wouldn't be good. Uh, you totem cop bastards. I'm tempted, even though it isn't a great strategic decision, to just throw these guys into the meat grinder and let them die. Just because I hate the SS for obvious reasons. Um, but, let's see. Yeah, I guess we'll get some use out of them while I have them. Do some reckless maneuvering. They are a panzer group specifically, which is very useful. Surrendered, yeah. No casualties. That's great. Up here, who are you? What kind of unit is this? I believe that's a motorized unit. Yeah, 23rd Tank Division, okay. Routed. Great. Cool. Alright. So I'm just gonna new on up over here. <laughs> by HQ. This is probably very... Ooh. Uh, I think I just captured their depot, and I just took some airfields. Interesting. I don't... This is kind of interesting. Just pushing way out with these guys. <laughs> Fire range 50, what does that mean? Oh, I think they're being supported by the... I see, I see, I see. Okay. They're now completely... Just... <laughs> Man, look at that! Wow. Hmm. It's a shame that they're... Their SS, otherwise I would keep them, but, you know, I have principles. And my principles are, those guys are gonna die. Joe said that he wouldn't be watching my turn. Um, which is good, because I feel like if he found out I did all of that on a suicide attack that ended up going really well, <laughs> he might be a little bit peeved. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. Um, here's the HQ. Okay, sorry if there was a weird cut there. There probably will be in the final video. Uh, I had to stop due to some technical difficulties on my end. Uh, but anyway, going back to the important things, which is... Uh, invading the Soviet Union as the Germans. Let's see where we were. So, yeah, give me the turn summary. Thank you very much. Uh, interesting. It doesn't list any of the things that have happened this turn yet. That's fine. That's good and fine. Okay. I would be interested to look into some of these stats up top. I have no idea if that would interest you all. Uh, who are watching this, so please sound off in the comments if you really want me to just tab through the uh, stat screens at some point, so that way you all get a good uh, good view of what's going on. Right, so... 
Not enough admin points. What? Okay. Anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. These were the guys that were flanking those dudes in the woods that are now completely eradicated. Let's take a look, see. Hmm. I may be overextending myself a bit here, but uh, just like Napoleon said, you can't invade a Russia without breaking a few eggs. So let's uh, let's uh, break this egg right here. Oh, good. Well, that's 32 guys and a plane. That's unfortunate. Uh, Panzer Division. That's probably pretty good. Yeah, get them. 14.7 defense. It's pretty intense for this game. Uh, my experience so far has been mostly just uh, the introductory scenario where you're seeing defense uh, and attack elements of like 10 max, mostly if it's like 5 or something like that. So seeing uh, seeing uh, whatever that was, 14, it's kind of intense. Alright. Uh, oh, <laughs> point 0.2. Uh, actually, it might benefit me to leave some of these guys um, kind of here, so that way Joe might try to do a uh, rescue attempt. Um, it could also come back to bite me in the ass. I don't know. I'm not someone who likes leaving risks, but then again, I did do this. So, what the hell do I know? Uh, let's put these bad boys on a train. Is there a train near you? There's a train over there. Uh, I think we'll probably be better off walking. Yeah, okay. Uh, go catch up with the line. Yeah, there you go. Well done. Recommendo. Yeah, okay. Is okay I'll stand for? Go ring? Oh, you must be the Air Force unit. Great element support. Huh. Sure, okay. I won't question it too much. Now what is this? Oh, more SS. Great. Ah. Actually, I get to throw them into the meat grinder. So, yeah, you get up there, boys. Go, uh, go do Germany a favor and die. Okay. So, I kind of cleared out the memo line here. I don't think they'll be able to do anything against this. Um, let's, let's see if I can go mess up their railroad, guys. Yep. Oh, I've captured zero tons of supply and five tons of fuel. That's nice. It's very nice. They are unable to attack that security detail. That's fine. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, what unit are you attached to? Which one? Who is your, ah, I see. So you're right there. Cool. That's fine. Where, I just had the tank selected. Where'd he go? Is it you? Yeah. Okay. Let's get up there and uh, mess these guys up a little bit. I'd like to just have this peninsula on my left flank just completely either isolated or completely neutralized. I don't want to have to worry about any of this stuff. So let's see here. Yeah, just eviscerate these guys. Fire range, 50. I don't know what that means. It's an artillery thing, probably. Surrendered and routed. That's good. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. Alright. No, get them. Don't let them get away. Oh. <laughs> I f fine, I suppose. This might as well happen. I feel like with how far I'm overextending right now, people are going to be screaming at me. Um, so I'm going to, in advance, just say, uh, sorry, I'm new to this game, but I do just very much love uh, Blitzkrieging, so you don't have to deal with that. Can I not attack these guys? I guess that is a major river, it looks like, so it probably will need to be attacked from this side. That's fine. I'm okay with leaving that for now. 
nothing, well, not everything needs to be done on the first turn, but I feel like some decisive um, action against some of these needs to be done. Looks like some of them are actually decent. Yeah, this one guy right here is the big problem. Uh, some of these are actually decent units, and I don't want them hanging around on my flank. So, I could just actually go over there and mess up their HQ. I feel like if I keep attacking his HQs, that could... Hmm, I don't want to end up cut off. However, I have been risky enough so far, so... Oh, good, it didn't move the entire stack. <laughs> uh, routed. The anti-tank brigade. Very funny that I attack with these guys, then. No tanks. Huh. How about that? Yes. Take the airfields. Good. Oh, man. Oh, they held. How about that? Uh, Yeah, it's fine. Man, Joe's gonna get his turn. He's gonna be like, "What the hell did you do?" I've I've already clued him in on a couple of things that uh, during the break I was like, "Oh yeah, you're gonna see a lot of your planes and stuff are gone." He's like, "What do you mean?" I'm like, "Well, yeah, first turn." Uh, what what is this? What unit is this? What is this? Uh, Soviet question mark unit? What is it? What are you? Uh, FRMG Artillery Battalion. Oh, this is one of those funky things that the Soviets did. I see. Okay. Hmm. Well, maybe we should start clearing this rail line over here, huh? Just, uh... Yeah. Okay. That's fine. It surrendered. That's cool. I suppose it was one of their support battalions that surrendered. Okay. That's fine. That's fine and dandy. Uh, yeah, I should probably deliver an attack. Okay. We're scouted. That's interesting. I haven't seen that one before. I suppose that'll just give me better intel on them. Set me up for a better attack next time. That is fine by me. Okay. I think we're probably approaching the end of the turn here. Um, let's take a final look, see if anything weird is out of place. Uh, I've made some serious uh, bridgeheads on this. Actually, I have cut these guys off entirely. I think that they might be able to get sea supply um, through uh, Mer Mers rags. Mers... I'm... Sorry to any Lithuanians, Estonians, or Lith uh, Latvians that I offend in this. I'm not very familiar with the area, so I apologize. Um, yeah, okay. I don't think I moved... What are you? Is this is the... Yeah, this is a support thing. This is Army Group North. Okay. Yeah, don't mess around with these guys. Okay. Here are some tanks that I can send to go do tanky business. Um, yeah, why not just drive over there? Whoa, that was both. That was a, that was a mistake. Well, not the end of the world. It'll be fine. I don't think there's an undo button, but mm, you know, you know what they say. Uh, I think I already did the can't omelet eggs joke, so I'm going to just deliberate attack with 92 CV. Hell yeah, I'll attack with 92 CV. Surrendered and routed. Yeah, the tiny Italian surrendered, of course, they did. Um, okay, cool. So, my bridgehead is more or less pretty secure. These guys surrendered immediately, basically without a fight. That tracks. Uh, yeah, okay. Looking good over here. I, mean, I just kind of have a clear path right now. Routed. Yeah, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Indeed. Should probably start moving up some of these HQs as well. Um, I know it'll mess with how 
things shake out a little bit in terms of them being able to supply things, but given my rapid advance, I think it's important to do so, so I'm just going to move you guys up here to that one. This is going to be my one that gets cut off, isn't it? Yeah, I can already feel it. No. Uh, alas. Whoa, what happened to that guy? He just disappeared. It's weird. Well, okay. Uh, you can hide, camp there. Wherever that is. Mazikai. Maz. Mazil. No. Mazikai. Kiai. I'm sorry. Again. Uh, yeah, move my HQ units up here. There is a port right there. Okay. Interesting. I did notice that there is a naval transport unit down here. I don't think that there's much in the way of actual navies in this game. I could be wrong. Um, so. I guess we'll find out if Joe suddenly lands uh, a bunch of forces there with a bunch of um, uh, battleships bombarding me, then I will have my answer. Let's hope that's not the case, though. The uh, MG artillery battalions are under you. Yeah. These MG artillery battalions kind of suck, don't they? I mean, I guess they are their own units. Yeah, okay, you surrendered again. Yeah, the MG artillery. Yeah, okay. Uh, and... There's no way that Joe would try to break through and save these guys at this point, so I think I'm just going to try to finish them off. Yep. Surrendered, routed. Great, 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 great. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yep. Surrendered, retreated. Back to that lone tile over there. And... You boys can clean it up. Yeah, surrendered, surrendered, routed. Routed into where? Okay, sure. I guess they just let them go or something. I have to say, I was expecting these guys to be much better dug in than they were. Uh, so I'm kind of surprised that we were able to make the advance so fast. I hope that the AI does the changes for the rail gauges and whatnot uh, well on its own, because I know that that's an issue that it has to take care of. Um, for anyone that doesn't know the game very well, uh, they're, this game models the hell out of everything, and one of the things that you have to be aware of is when you take the enemy's railways, uh, long story short, their trains use different tracks, basically, than yours, so that there's like a transitional period where they have to change change what that looks like. Um, and it does it on its own, but you can also send support units to make it faster. However, as you may have seen me do at the beginning of the turn, I made it, um, the AI do uh, that sort of thing automatically. Well, actually, that was a game setting, is that we set up the uh, AI to automatically deploy support units where needed, and, um, well... I don't know how smart the AI is, but I can tell you it's definitely smarter than me at this right now. And... This is probably my last attack of the turn. Let's move everyone else up. And they just routed. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, move up over here. I don't think that, that this train... I don't think that's in my supply. I wonder how the lines change outside of my territory in between turns. So... Okay, actually, let's take a look at this. Red means damaged or unusable, I believe. Tri uh, the triangle? Why did I say triangle? Yellow means I think you can kind of get some supply from it. Uh, but the green, that's the good one we like. And we're not seeing a lot of that all the way up here. These uh, the Totenkopf guys are screwed, probably with supplies. Um... Which, I mean, screw those guys, I hate them, so that's fine. But, yeah. I hope that the HQs are able to keep up and supply everyone, otherwise I'm kind of um, boned. I'm overextending myself very much. I think that uh, Joe is going to be expecting some heavy reinforcements in the coming turns, because 
it wouldn't be a fair fight if I could just roll all the way up here with the same kind of resistance right now. This is what we see right now of his units. This is not going to be an accurate picture. This is just kind of where some of them are. There's going to be far more scattered across the place. And I'm interested to see how that shakes out, especially because he's going to be moving them. He's probably going to be rushing down these lines here, these rail lines over here. I don't know if he's going to take this one as seriously. Uh because there's like worse terrain. You can see these marshes and woods and uh, these heavy heavy crossings. He'll probably post a few needs along places like this, but <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And that's the fun of it. I'm gonna move. Uh, should I move these guys up? Would he attempt a naval landing? He might, he is tricksy. Like a, like a hobbit. I'll leave these guys back here in case he tries any shenanigans. Fourth Panzer Group, yeah, you should move up. HQ for those guys, yeah, you go over there. HQ, Second Corps, and 16th Army. You can both uh, take a hike to Big Bill Hells. L Corps. A couple of different HQs. The the fact that all the HQs are connected makes this a little bit confusing as well. And uh, that's one of my downfalls in these games, is that I struggle to make sure that the HQs are all lining up with each other. Like, in this and uh, Unity of Command, I'm not very good at it. Um, and Joe isn't going to be watching my turns, so I'm allowed to admit that. Because if he realized that I wasn't very good at it, he would probably exploit it. But, yeah, he... Uh, he and I aren't going to be watching each other's turns just to keep the element of surprise up, which is, uh, you know, a good thing. Okay, so... Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I think that's pretty much everything. So, aggressive port on and off, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to see if I can... I don't remember where the turn report button is just because I'm curious like if I'm what the reinforcements I'm getting are uh, daka 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 daka. apologies for this delay here I'm just very curious yeah it's probably in different screens what am I doing commander's report screen um, no it's not this one metrics production weather Logistics, Air Doctrine, Air Directive, blah, blah, blah. Theater box, victory screen, Wittypedia, turn summary. Will you tell me what's going on next turn? No? I have a lot of victory points. He just has a lot of victory points. Those are probably from places that he's holding. He's going to inflict a lot of casualties on me soon. Uh... Reinforcement withdrawal schedule, okay. So, I am expecting some divisions on turn 4. Losing some security details by turn 8, that's fine. Um, I suppose I could just throw them into the meat grinder since they're not going to be doing anything else, but I think these are my security, yeah, these are my security guys, so they'll be uh, holding them with four probably at those naval bases over there. Some panzer divisions, some, ooh, it's actually a fair amount of things I'm getting at that point, but that's good. I don't know if I get to see his. I don't think I do. Interesting. Uh, area operation groups. Interesting, interesting. And I get some... I get a bunch of plants in turn 7. Wow, look at that. Okay. Cool. Well... I will stop my turn here. Oh, there's the undo button. Good to know for later. Okay. End turn. Yes. Oh. Air transport freight destroyed. Interesting. I think it's because I captured these bases that they are... I think it is automatically changing the air 
air bases. That's going to be a problem if I have a lot of planes there and he decides to come along and just take Jogava. It's going to be an issue. Well, I suppose that is a problem for next turn, Jack. And hopefully Joe does not realize that's what happened there. <laughs> uh, I, th this is the problem with letting the game um, you know, decide what to do with your units. But, like I said, I'm, I'm new to the game. I don't want to add the... Uh, the aerial component as well, right when I'm starting. This is literally, I think, my second scenario. Okay, great. Well, uh, that was a first turn, and I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording now. And I will see you all in my next turn. Uh, be kind to Joe, but also don't tell him where my guys are, please. I would appreciate that. Thank you. Have a good one.